Hello Year 7 and welcome to your second lesson in data representation where we're going to be covering ASCII. So today's connect task is a bit of revision over the binary numbers that you learned last week. So in the first task, in the lemon and herb section, you're going to decipher the deanery numbers which are on the left into binary numbers. Same again with the medium, and then for a bit of extra hot, a little bit of extra challenge, I'd like you to finish off by doing the binary numbers into the decimal numbers. So, pause the video and come back in 10 minutes with your completed answers. Well done on completing that task. Here are the answers. What I'd like you to do next is pause the video and self-mark your work. So, today's targets are number one, to be able to convert binary and deanery into ASCII and vice versa, and two, be able to explain the differences between character sets. Well done on that last task. Next task we're going to move on is the activate task. And we're going to ask, what is ASCII? Well, the computer uses ASCII to tell what key we're pressing on the keyboard. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And when you type a key, it sends a binary code to the computer. The computer then uses the character set as a translation guide to determine which characters to print on the screen. Each character on the keyboard can be represented by binary code. For example, 65 is A, 66, B and C is 67. A character set is a collection of characters that a computer can... There are 128 characters in the ASCII set. Below is an example of some of the most common characters in ASCII. So, let's go through a worked example of ASCII for ABC. So, what we're going to do here is we've got these codes from the character set. And what we're going to do is find the binary numbers for A, B and C, the capital letters. So, first number is 65. So, that's going to be... 0 and 1 and then we know that 1 will be a 1 so I'll be 65 so we'll fill the rest of the zeros in okay so the deanery for B is 66 so we'll go 64 and then we know that 2 We'll make 66 and we'll fill the rest of the zeros in. And the deanery for the ASCII capital C is 67. So, same again, we've got 64, 65, 66, and then 67, and we'll fill the rest of the zeros in. Okay, so A is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. B is 0, 1, 0, 0. Zero, zero, one, zero, and C, zero, one, zero, 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 one, and one. So that is how you convert your deanery ASCII binary code. 
The next activity is another activate. You're going to complete the gap fill below. You can pause the video. Should take you about five minutes. And come back and we'll go through the answers. Pause the video now. Let's go through the answers. There are many different types of data you can enter into a computer, including alphabetic, numeric, punctuation, symbols and commands. For example, space, enter and delete. When you press a button on your keyboard, it sends a binary signal to the computer telling it which key you pressed. The computer then uses the character set to translate the binary code into a particular character. The number of bits you'll need is based on the character set. First set we'll look at is ASCII. This uses a 7-bit binary code. This is the most commonly used character set in the English speaking world. It can represent 128 different characters, including all the letters in the English alphabet, numbers, symbols and commands. The second one we're going to look at is extended ASCII. This uses 8-bit binary code. This allows 256 characters to be represented. The first 128 are in exactly the same order as the ASCII characters, but then European languages are included, like French and German, which include accents on some of their vowels, such as E, O and U. The third one we're going to look at is Unicode. This uses 16 and 32-bit binary code. This tries to cover every possible character that might be written, including languages with a completely different alphabet, like Greek, Russian and Chinese. A big well done to all of you who got that correct. Let's move on. In the next activity, you're going to demonstrate using ASCII. Using the table below, I'd like you to work out what the following code says. You've got five to ten minutes to complete this. Come back when you're done and we'll go through the answer. Pause the video now. Well done on completing that activity. The answer is, of course, school. So congratulations if you managed to work that out. Let's move on. The next activity is the string so in the table below, I'd like you to write your own full name in ASCII code. Please remember to email me the code so I can check it. Pause the video and you have about 10 minutes and then come back. The final exercise we're going to do today is what you remember. One thing I'm sure I have learned that or I still don't understand. After you've completed that, do remember to go and take the Microsoft Forms activity that I've set you this week.